At Tente, there are many technical terms that seem confusing at first. This video aims to provide more clarity and explain the terms offset, swivel interference and swivel radius in more detail. Let's start with the offset. For swivel casters, the offset describes the horizontal distance between the center of the wheel axle and the center of the caster's fitting, like a bolt hole. But why do we care about the distance at all? The offset is an important factor when it comes to the construction of casters in general. After all, it influences the features of the caster and the swiveling properties. Here is an insight into the most important properties regarding the offset. Casters with a greater offset tend to have a lower load capacity, whereas casters with a smaller offset tend to be more resilient. Also, casters with a great offset wear out faster in the back bearing. This does not happen to the same extent with casters with a smaller offset. A smooth and consistent driving is easier with casters with a large offset. Casters with a smaller offset cause more unsteady driving and the casters tend to swing when driving straight paths. If we look at the swivel resistance, we can say that the casters with a larger offset feature low swivel resistance and casters with a small offset have a higher swivel resistance. After looking at the offset, let's take a look at the terms swivel interference and swivel radius. But what do they actually mean and how are they connected? The swivel interference is the area or diameter a caster needs when swiveling all the way around its own axis. Objects or obstacles located within this area will interfere with the caster swiveling smoothly around its own axis. The swivel interference is closely linked with the swivel radius as it describes the radius. For instance, one half of the swivel interference. The swivel interference and swivel radius of a swivel caster can be easily determined. The swivel radius equals the offset plus half the wheel diameter. By multiplying with two, we get the swivel interference. Before we reach the end of this video, here is an important note. When using a swivel caster with a lock, it is likely for the lock to extend even further beyond the wheel. This extends the swivel interference. Thank you for watching.